This week on the show, we're featuring Amethyst, Appetite Under the Microscope Cam, Pineapple Chocolate on Why'd I Buy That? No, not Pineapple Chocolate. Strawberry Energy Chews on Why'd I Buy That? 17 New Jokes and More Joy Than a Bottle of Dish Soap. I started taking boxing lessons. I think my instructor is into politics. He told me to float like a butterfly and sting like a gas price. Let's start the show. This piece has a nice purple area. It is. It does have some zoning. That's why it's not intense purple. But it is a lovely purpley purple, kind of on the red spectrum. And it's kind of like, like if you, if you noticed, I should have done this at the beginning. The striations in the face that kind of look like the fingerprint. It's sort of like it cracked. The crystal cracked and exposed itself and then started reforming again. Really kind of neat. I see that every so often. Not exactly sure what to do with a piece that's so thin. I want to keep it big, especially with all that nice purple in it. So I made it into a sort of a Super Mario coin shape. Kind of a, a rounded, uh, let's see, four, eight, nine, ten, so a dodecagon shape with a square in the middle, rectangle in the rectangle in the middle. There we go. Mob Bear 72 how do you do? I saw you on Vivian's channel last night. I saw you on Vivian's channel last night. How you doing, Mama Bear 72 Good to see you. Glad you made it to the show. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're ready to have a good week. We're going to make this a good week. Actually, I was going to make a poll question. Let's see. We are going to make this a... Good week is the question ish. And let's see. So the show is to is to talk about um better than better all that and a bag of chips so we'll do this and we'll change it to a question this week is going to be question mark there we go now you got a poll okay so the, the point of the show is to do two basically two things one is to talk about gems. If you have any questions about crystals or gemstones, go ahead and ask them now or anytime during the show or even after the show, you can leave them down in the comments section. And I'll be happy to help and answer in any ways possible. And if you're ever interested in learning more about gemstones, of course, there's always Wikipedia, but then there's another website that I go to quite a bit called minerals.net. And they happen to have a lot of pictures of rough crystals and finished crystals and a wide variety of minerals as well. 
Gary Green, welcome to the show, good man. I got quite a few jokes this week. I think I think we did okay-ish. I think I think there's a couple of couple of chucklers in there. Let's see what else we got for the show. Amethyst is pretty hard. This is a pretty hard chunk too, I tell you what. Boom. Yeah. Skipping the mug, going right to the remainder of the jug, baby. They need to put like a finger ring. That's what we should do is get like a finger ring attachment so I can just lug it over the shoulder, elbow it up. I'll tell you what. As for you. Yeah. So anyways, amethyst. Lovely, isn't it? But it's always got these like areas. And I've actually got a really great piece under for the microscope cam portion of the show that I'm going to use to show you the areas. Okay, so here's the piece up in the corner. And I hate taking that picture in the corner. It's always so hard to get that picture. I thought about getting a photo box. I really probably should, but at the same time, I got a thing going on with the post there, you know, with the wood, the oak. I kind of like that. Makes a good backdrop. But it always messes with the color of the stone, you know? Because if you look at this piece, it's different. But I wound up getting some flare, even though it has that window in the back, that area that you can see through. That's just because, you know, it it's... It's not fully angular. And we'll look at that out of the microscope. But the point is, I got this other piece. And it's got three purple zones in it. Because the crystal forms up like a quartz thing with the point, And then the, the, the light radiation, the UV radiation comes in and it splits. And it makes these little purple striation zones. And so the idea is to catch the crystal in an area where the purple zone is big enough that you can make it into something nice. Like I, got, I started working on this one piece in case this one didn't work out because I really wanted a purple one for the colors. Like if you go over to my Instagram or something, you can see I got a green one, I got a red one. I don't want to do a whole bunch of red ones in a row because I've actually got... I got a, I did four stones this week, and this isn't one of them, but this is a nice big purple piece. There's a lot of purple all the way through this chunk of stone. So this is going to be a pretty good piece of amethyst when I get done with it. But I did get a couple other stones almost done. So these are some upcoming stones. I got like this piece of citrine, which all the orange is down in the end. But I was like, I don't want to make it tiny. See, isn't that a nice color, golden color there? But at the same time, it's bigger this way. And actually, that's a little more of the color it is in real life. If I go like that, it looks too white. But that's because the, the screen I got going on is the UV from the, the you know, these LED screens. They, they put off UV light waves, and, and that, it, that reacts with the stone. So anyway, we got that one. And then we got this piece of topaz, which is so bright. It's so bright. It's 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 getting dropped all the time. It's bright, it's white, and it's lovely. And then one more, we got this piece of rotolite. This little rotolite uh, spaceship, ice cream cone, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a, you know, like a Star Wars spaceship. Oh, what was that game where your spaceship was in the middle and it shot? Outward was that Astro Smash? All right, I'm I'm done with the impression portion of the show. So anyway, that's um that's what we got going on this week, and the other part of the show is to recharge you for next week. So there's a lot of things that want to manipulate us, you know. Get other people to do things for you. That kind of stuff. Everybody wants to make an, an effect. And so I'm here to recharge you with positive stuff. You know, positivity and, and humor and, and optimism. And uh, give you something that you can take with you out into the world. And, and 
and be ready for the week, you know? Because this can be a great week. Sometimes, sometimes things out of our control happen and, and we don't have the power to make it a great week. But at least we can try. We can try and improve it. We can make it better. At least as better as we can. And so that's what we're going to do. And that's what we try to do with the show. Asterod. Or maybe the name was called the game was called Burp. Could it it could be called Burp too? You know that'd be a good name for a game. It'd probably sell a lot. So let's go ahead and fire up the microscope cam. I got a piece of blue appetite I want to show you too. Blue. I think I'm gonna shape that one up here pretty soon. I think I might do another piece of tanzanite, but it's been a while since I've done some blue appetite, so maybe I should do that. I need to start doing more shows per week, right? Because if I do more shows per week, that means I do more gems per week. And I do have trouble keeping up with the gems already, but since I did like four gems this week, and if I, I keep pushing with it, and it really comes down, and i got to change out the video, it really comes down to that decision. The decision I was talking about, like with this piece of, of citrine, it's like, do I want to make it the orange, or do I want to make it big? Big or beautiful, which one are we going with? And sometimes it is a tough choice. Sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes I don't even know. Sometimes it's like with this one. Do I want to shave it and even it out and keep it like a big kite shape? You know, I'll, I'll shave like this off here. Or I can shave this off and make it like a square piece. Then either way it'd look pretty. But I got to make a decision which one am I going to go with. I don't know yet. And then like this guy, this is a pretty good sized piece. Got a lot of nice purple in it. I really was trying to push a purple stone this week. And so I got that one, this one, the one that you see. I got two other ones. Yeah, I like this one. This one I didn't know what to do with. I still don't know what to do with. See, you can even kind of see it's got the three different color zones in it. And I actually cut this one off the bottom of it and that's the three color zones we're about to look at under the microscope cam and then I got this little piece that I nipped off of that big one we're gonna do something with that we'll see how that goes but uh, it comes down to the decision what do I do with it you know and like this guy here decent color piece but it's got a big old honking crack in it look at that under the microscope cam too the microscope, we're gonna fire it up. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Almost done with the show, too. I think I'm going to do an open mic night tonight. If we can get to that. I'm doing great, says Mama Bear72. Hi, guys. Hey, Jacob. Hi, Colette. Hi, Mama and Gary. Hello, Colette S. and Gary Green. One day at a time. Yep, it's like a soap opera. That's what I, I, That's another thing that's hard to do with the show is that line. I always try to come up with a, a tagline for the show. And it's like this week I said, um, you know, we're featuring Amethyst. We got 17 jokes. And we got more joy than a bottle of dish soap. So that's that's another thing. Jacob isn't old enough to remember Asteroid, but I do I did play it. I've played retro games. Been out riding the bike most of the day, then gave it a bath. Hey, that sounds like a nice day, Gary. That's a great day and a great start to a great week there, man. I mean that sounds nice. You get accessories for your bike? I see people really get into the accessories. Some people go with the flashy ones. Sometimes people get into the lights and stuff. Sometimes the accessories are functional, you know, like you get your pair of bags on there. You got, you know, sometimes you can get that trunk. Sometimes, you, you know, you can get like an extra headlight or something like that. Film your comedy show. I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and film the open mic night thing. It's a little different because, you know, like going to a bar is one thing. You're in a bar, but then this is an actual theater, so it's actually a little bit closer to a comedy club, but it's so big and open. And there's a, a, an expert comedian. He's been doing comedy for a dozen years. I talked to at a, a comedy show a few weeks back. 
Uh, Reverend Ha Ha Henry? Oh man, I wish I could remember. I gotta I I gotta I gotta go back and check out his channel. Uh, maybe I can drop the link next week or next show. And he uh he he told me that big open areas are harder to get the, the audience rolling. Because when you're the only one laughing it singles you out, and so you stop laughing. But when everybody else is laughing and you're not, it singles you out, so you start laughing to blend in. You know, it's camouflage. It's laugh camouflage. Honda ST1300 touring bike. Nice. Motorcycle, not bicycle. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, there's bikers and there's cyclists. And, there, you know, it's two different things two things like starting up the chat bot and not starting up the chat bot that's also two things and starting up the microscope portion and firing up the microscope portion and we'll start it on fire bling nope nope we want to be ready for that all right and we are getting close to being done with the show. We're at least halfway, maybe maybe more-ish. And I'll send you on your way. I need see this this is what happens when I get in a rush is a poor quality polish. I need to take the time to to polish it down. See the little speckles? That's what's called orange peel. And then see the scratches on the end? I need to actually final polish it. And I do that by hand on the desk here. I need a final polish it to finish it out a little better. But it's not even straight, and I didn't want to mess it up, and I really needed something for the show this week. So I was thinking about taking it in there and straightening it out. So if you notice, we've got the purple flare on each side. And then on each end of it, I'm going to use a pencil. So this, this area here, and then on each side of it, has the purple flare, and then in the middle you can see the grid lines. See, if I turn it enough, you can see the grid lines show up, right? Bling! Bling! Like up up here. See that grid line show up and disappear? So that's all about having the light bounce off of the facets. And so if we look at it like this, I got a nice even 45 across the side facets. That's why they show. But then when we look at it like this, that's not very 45 on the bottom. That's why we got a window that we can see through. And so I keep telling myself I'm going to go ahead and and maybe crunch it out and, and try and, and get rid of that. But like let, let's say that I try to get rid of that window by turning this, this side facet a little more. It loses its brilliance, it's, it, the brightness of the color. It loses a lot of the color. So the only other way to do it is to go in from each side and we'll actually lose the width of that center area. And so that would make the stone a lot smaller. And so I don't really want to do that. I like keeping it bigger. It's a nice big piece and it's pretty to look at. Like looking at it in person, I'm like, I'm happy with it. But if you notice, this face here and has that little corner spot it needs to go down see it's wider over here and skinnier over he over here so I need to take this one this side of this and push it downward but in order to do that I'm most likely gonna push this side deeper just trying to get it there otherwise it'll turn into two different facets and since I'm gonna push this one deeper I'm going to have to push that one deeper, and that's going to make the window bigger altogether. And I don't want to do that. It's already big enough. I like to keep it small. So we'll have to see how that goes. I don't know. Maybe I'll have an update for you next week. Maybe I'll just finish polishing it up and, and keep it crooked like that. Maybe I'll finish polish it by hand, and I'll be able to control it a little better. Maybe I'll put it on the faceter. I can glue it on a dot get it nice and straight 
and not too big and that'll turn out pretty good here's the piece with the color zones See that shows you the zones the different color zones it shows how the the, the light comes in and then refracts back and so here's kind of a natural face that I've I've ground down. No, actually I haven't ground this down yet, have I? I haven't ground on this surface yet. You can kind of still see the fingerprint area where the crystal is growing out in layers. And the UV hits it and splits apart and makes these two areas. And then it also hit over here to make that area. And it hit over here to make that wedge. Notice the lines in the actual UV-ness. And so that, that's what makes shaping amethyst tough. Is if I turn it like this, we can get like a bigger zone. If we turn it just right, we can get the light to reflect all through it and it'll become nice and purple. And then if I turn it upside down, and then it goes back to what I was just showing you, which is the opposite side of this. Because this piece here, I cut off of that other piece. And that's what we get when we shape some amethyst. One more piece of amethyst, and then I'll show you the, the blue appetite. Let's get the third video rolling, shall we? If you have any questions about amethyst, go ahead and ask away. Or ask towards. Either, either one, you know. It, it works. Hey, Cliff made it. Welcome to the show, Cliff. Good to see you, bud. Hope you're doing well. I did fire up the, the chat pot. Let's see. Command. That'll give you some things you can type. I thought I had like a like the games and all that. You could type the games in. You could do the game part of the program. So this one's nice and purple, right? But it's it's got that crack in it. And that crack is so totally in the wrong spot, you know? Man, it's in the wrong spot. There we go. That kind of shows the crack. This, uh... Where's my pinkle? My pointing pinkle. This crack. Right up along there. So, I'm probably going to split it and make it into two smaller pieces. That's what I could do for the during the week show. Because I'm always trying to do a bigger gem during the week. I could shape smaller gems and make like gem shorts. And it'd be like a five minute, five minute episode of the show. We'll be like, this is how you whip out a short show. I wonder how long it would take me to do the five minute short. Anyway... That's what we got coming up with that piece of appetite. Where's my, or amethyst. Amethyst, it's amethyst. Now we're doing appetite. Okay, so this is the blue appetite. And it's got like a structure to it. See, it's got these, these little stripe inclusions. This is an opaque stone. Can't see through it like you can with the amethyst. So... The idea with an opaque stone like a turquoise or the Amazonite, which sometimes Amazonite is translucent, sometimes Apatite's translucent. I got some nice green Apatites, like I've, I got one featured a few weeks ago. That's nice and translucent, beautiful stone. But when it's an opaque stone, the idea is to get a nice even color area that doesn't look like it's going to fall apart. You want one that looks nice and solid, like it's going to... It's going to stay together. And so I've got this piece of blue appetite there. That, that shows you the color of it. And I'm going to try and get it to be big, big old, you know, bolo tie size piece. You can get that, you know, thing that they call a bolo tie. Or, you know, nice wrist bracelet glove thinger. I don't know. We'll have to kind of grind down the surface and see what's left. Try and get an even color on it. We'll see. So that's uh, Appetite Under the Microscope. Uh, let's see. What do I got for why did I buy that? Because the show is almost over. we got like five minutes left. And we still got to do the jokes. All right. So this week on why did I buy that? Really blue. 
Thanks, Colette. I'm glad you like it. We'll have that featured up, you know, before you know it. Uh, this week I was leaving the natural grocer's place, the Whole Foods place, and I had my chocolate. And I actually, I am going to feature the pineapple chocolate. We're going to do that next show. But this, this, like on the way out, I saw on the other side of the candy aisle, they have the energy foods aisle. And they got like protein bars and stuff. And I, I haven't done protein bars in a long time. I never could find a protein bar that was good. I do drink muscle, the chocolate muscle milk. That's pretty good stuff. It's got a lot of vitamins. You get them quick. And it literally works for me. Like if, if I lift and then I drink a muscle milk, I recover better. If I push myself real hard doing some landscaping, drink a muscle milk, I recover better. I wake up less sore. And so, you know, I, I actually go with that. But I'm on my way out and and I've been trying to stay away from gummy things because I will eat a g entire like family size bag of gummy things in one sitting. Yeah, it's delicious. And I, I gotta stop doing that because then I get the indigestion and then I get the redigestion or whatever it is. I don't know. It doesn't work with me, so I gotta stay away from them. It's kind of like donuts and pie. But then I saw they got these uh, strawberry energy chews. And I was like, hmm. Maybe I can have some gummy energy. And I'm like, energy, when I see it, like something that has energy, I'm like, oh no, additives, chemicals, extra things. My body's got enough energy as it is. I don't need more of that. But sometimes I don't. And so I was like, all right, this is a natural foods place. What kind of things are they using to put energy into an energy chew? Because they look delicious, right? It's a strawberry flavored gummy sold already you know but then when they say energy chew unsold yep deal breaker but then i'm like well if it's a natural foods place where are they getting the energy from all right it turns out they're putting in electrolytes like brondo and then they've got b vitamins so they're probably it's probably just you know like niacin extracted from bananas and then they put in some salt. Electrolytes are salts. They're like sugar salts or something like that. I don't know. Brondo has electrolytes. Plants like Brondo. I'm not a plant. But, you know, I grow like one sometimes. People, you're growing like a weed. I should, I should write a joke about that. I got a lot of jokes about cliches this week. Buds and Hazard, just in time, buds. Because we're almost to the joke portion. I was just talking about why I bought these strawberry energy chews. I'm in line. I'm waiting. I'm standing. Which is weird because around here, if, if there's a line, it's like, what? I'm leaving. Screw this. But no, there was like three people in front of me. And so I'm standing there and I see these strawberry chew things. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. It's a small little pouch. It's way overpriced. Buck seventy-five is totally a splurge impulse buy but i don't know i i haven't tried them yet they, they actually feel really soft in the package as opposed to like being all you know stale and hard like a like a they, they're more like a gummy bear than they are like a fruit snack which i i am into the fruit snacks but like i say i will eat an entire family size box of fruit snacks in one sitting pouch after pouch after pouch that was my favorite thing about lunch, and now I can have my favorite lunch thing for an entire family size box in one evening of game playing, and so that's why I don't do it. But I did do this because I wanted to try them. Small pouch, energy, gonna see how they do. I'll let you all know. And that's why I buy that. Do you ever buy uh, uh, strawberry gummy chews? Do you ever buy things with energy? Now why do you buy that? And which one did which one did you buy, and why did you buy that? Did you see the question I asked? What is black and white and like a? What is black and white like a Dalmatian, with sparkle? Um, snowflake obsidian. I actually have a piece of snowflake obsidian I was trying to finish up, and uh, and. And feature it looks like a guitar pick let me switch over and ask you if this is it or not like this 
It's got these diasterisms. This is this is um, volcanic glass. I need to finish polishing it. Especially these edges. These edges haven't been polished at all. It's it's, it's volcanic glass. Is the black part? It's glass with it's it's silicon dioxide with lots of ash in it. But then some of the silicon dioxide was converted to cristobalite. And so the oxygen actually bonded at a different angle on the silicon. And it made this, this cristobalite stuff. And that's where you get the diasterisms. And so maybe that's it. What? You didn't try them before telling us? No, I'll call that out because I haven't busted open the package yet. If I do, I'll probably eat the whole thing in one go. I'll, I'll probably be like, ooh, those are good. That just, okay, we didn't, we didn't do that. But that, that's about how it's going to be. I'm going to eat all the strawberry all at once. So excited. i so excited because I got this entire, like, st my strawberry patch is just exploding because I gave it the gem powder again this year. Man, it's like this tiny little patch. I got I got to put a picture of it on my Instagram. That's what I got to do. And the strawberries are so, like, the leaves are big and the, the strawberry clusters coming out got a lot of berries but the berry like the flowers themselves are big which portends that the berries themselves will be big so we'll we'll see it's more white with black spots and has clean sparkles oh i was just cursing at it because okay so i wanted to point that out that's what i was doing so sometimes when I try to even out the backside, because I, I was talking about this earlier, sometimes when I try to even out the backside, it'll catch. It'll catch. Watch this, because it's so hard, i got to push down, and it'll catch and turn on me. Then it makes me so upset, because it's like, it's usually on the last side. Like, i got four sides, and it's like the last one. And then it gets ruined, and I got to do all four of the other oopses. Boom! Do you see that spark? It's. Yep. See that? You see that? Where's the spark? And it catches, and then it turns. Boom! Yep. Because it's a hard spot in the stone. And it's like. It's it's like when I'm trying to push on the surface, no matter how hard I push on the top part, it still turns inward. And I'll push on it and I'll push, I'll push, I'll actually take it away and then turn it, and that's where it sparks. So hard, really hard parts of the stone. Because there's different bonding structures inside the stone. And so it it's not as simple as just grind it out. Working with natural crystals is uh it's difficult, but it's kind of fun. It's like golf. You get frustrated, but then you, you get over it. Um, sort of like last week. That's why we're going to make this week a great week. So that brings me to the joke portion. It's, it's more white with black spots and has clear sparkles. Hmm. White with black spots... Clear sparkles. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see. Uh, moonstone. Moonstone would would probably. It could be a moonstone. I actually haven't finished any moonstone. I should try to finish some moonstone though. I do like some moonstone. But I, like all the moonstone I have, you're trying to get that Schiller effect, kind of like the Labradorite effect. And uh, I can never quite get that to show. And I don't want to ruin it, is the thing. Because usually the Schiller is a thin layer, and you grind down, and then it's gone. It's kind of like opal. So I'm trying to be careful with it. It's a little different when you're dealing with crystals, and then you can just kind of freely shape it as long as you don't lose the color. Um, so I hope that helps, and I'm going to look a little later and see if I can find some other stuff. But right now, what I did find is the joke portion of the program. Let's see what I got this week. 
All right, we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with the first and the worst of the week. This joke. I don't know about this joke. I don't know why. I know why. Because I'm always, I'm starting the week fresh and I got no jokes and I want to have some. Sometimes I only have like five jokes in the week. And so I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and, and write down anything that comes to me. So the very first joke I wrote down just so I'd have some content. What did the magician say when his trick failed? Pa-oof. Yeah, that's where we that's where we started with the joke portion. Terrible jokes like that. But then I start getting into ones that I think are a little better and they tended like it would it did okay on stage this next joke. Like how things keep getting bigger. I noticed, you know, like drinks keep getting bigger. The other day I saw an advertisement for the new 48 gallon camel hump cup. It comes with its own bathroom. It's the only drink cup with a cup holder for your other drink. Not only does it come with free refills, it comes with a free shoulder strap so you can carry it around. It's so big, I need to set it down and take a drink break. Yeah. I need to finish that joke out, but it, it's, you know, it's it's on its way there. I had an idea where we can organize a flash mob where everyone takes a picture in the dark. If a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, can I sell it to the lumber company? I went to Whole Foods, but couldn't find the donut holes. I mean, they have whole chicken, whole wheat bread, they even have Swiss cheese with the little holes in it. But no donut holes. Why don't they have whole donut holes at Whole Foods? I guess they probably sell the whole donuts. But I couldn't find any of those either. Is it considered fly fishing if I hit on women with my zipper down? Can't believe I asked that. Okay, someone asked if I'm hungry. I said, I'm not only hungry, I'm the entire European Union. Why do they call them Polish sausages? I thought all sausages were Polish. You know, kind of pole-shaped. It's a terrible joke. On to the next one. I'm scheduled... This this is going to make sense. I'm scheduled to meet my therapist, but I had to call and tell her I was going to be late for disappointment. The Walmart version of a dispensary would be called Walgreens. Right, buds? Using a knife, I was using a knife and I cut myself on accident. Someone said I can't be trusted with knives. Well, I was reading a book and got a paper cut. I guess I can't be trusted with paper either. This one's courtesy of Colette. She said, I told the squash plants to start producing squash or Sasquatch is going to come get them. That's for you, Gary. Hope you're doing good. Almost done. We got half a dozen more. Uh, let's see. I got a job cleaning for the mob. Now I'm a made man. I spilled pop on my shirt. I almost got mad, but it fizz what it fizz. It fizz what it fizz. Yeah, it is what it is. It fizz what it fizz. Electric cars are as quiet as a mouse. Race cars are as quiet as a mouse in a mouse trap. I started taking boxing lessons. I think my instructor's into current events. He told me to float like a butterfly and sting like a gas price. I asked if I should throw a left punch or a right punch. He said I should throw an independent punch. I said that's not even a fist. That's probably about as political as I'll get that i don't know i don't know about that second part i think the first part's a, f a lot funnier all right um last one i found a 50 dollar bill it's not enough to retire but 50 bucks is 50 bucks or like the irs says 50 bucks is 38.75 and like i always say 
Thanks for coming by for the joke portion of the program. Alright, I, I hope that made you laugh this week. I hope you're ready to have a good week. Emily made it! Aww! Thanks for coming by. Glad you made it in time for the joke portion of the show. We talked about Amethyst this week. If you want to know more about Amethyst, you can ask questions or leave questions in the comments section. Skip back to the microscope portion. I talk about how Amethyst has the things. Next week, we'll probably be featuring either the citrine, the rotolite, or the topaz I got finished. Or maybe we'll be doing this blue appetite. Depends on if I can get it ready or not. Great jokes. Gary Green, Colette S., Emily Eshelman. We got Buds and Hazards made it to the show. Cliff stopped by to wave and say how you doing. Mama Bear 72 came by. Glad to see y'all made it. I'm glad everyone was able to make it. We're going to have a great week this week. And I'm not even talking to... I'm not just talking to the people who are here now. I'm talking to the people watching later. You're awesome. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. And maybe sometime during the week. Oh, and cheers, Kenny. Good to see you, too. And Earth Creeper. All right, okay. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm off. I'm going to go try and do this open mic night. Wish me luck. I'm going to wish you luck on having an awesome week. And I'll see you guys later. You're fantastic.